So British roast is um, basically a meal that uh, most families will have on a Sunday lunch. It will revolve around uh, a main piece of meat. Um, so in England we have we have a few staples of that, so the chicken, lamb, pork, beef. And uh, each one carries its own different accompaniments. It's one of the few meals now where I, I'd say that you all eat as a family. For us it was always that meal that everybody, everybody had. You know, every family I knew had their Sunday roast and everybody would always be there often cooked by someone who wasn't necessarily a very good cook so it wasn't always about the quality of it it was probably more about the emotional aspect the family all sitting around the table um, which happens all too rarely even more rarely now being relaxed as well I would say so it's not so formal as in you've got your set plate I love it when it's all put in the middle of the table and everyone's sharing and getting in and just being a brilliant experience for everyone for me, in, in Sweden, it's not such a big tradition with Sunday roast, but I used to live in the UK for more than five years, and, and Sunday used to be the only day off, and you used to go to the pub and you have a pint and a roast. So, so uh, for me, it's, uh, it's a big thing. In Austria, we have typically on a Sunday lunch, we have pork in the hole, or for example, uh, beef also in the hole. We're doing a lot of things like this. We didn't really grow up with roasts in Scotland, don't really have them very often. I'm doing Scottish crab dish inspired by a famous Scottish crab soup called Parton Brie. The more typical in my, in my village is uh, potato with squid. It's the more typical uh, in Spain uh, when there is a, a day with the family. What we do is uh, we smoke eel. We toast bread, we smoke eel and then uh, we eat the eel. That's something typical we do with my friends and with the family and everybody, with kids, big table. The dish that I'm making tonight is basically what I would cook for the family. This is just like a, a nice potato dish just with these uh, shrimps. Uh, we would do it with fish or we would do it with buttermilk. So we, uh, very traditional is a, a buttermilk mash and that's, that's what we eat with, uh, with fish or shrimps. Normally in Germany we serve first a soup and after that uh, we go over to the style we do here tonight like uh, we do a big kind of uh, meat like uh, sauerbraten for example or um, and serve that like uh, in slices with uh, uh, noodles or spätzle in germany people from the faroe islands uh, are very fond of eating sheep uh, the faroe islands means the sheep islands so so we eat a lot of that you know, bracing a leg of lamb or something like that would be would be quite uh, traditional uh, on a sunday I think it's going to be really exciting to see so many different chefs from so many great restaurants coming together to cook this feast. It's going to be complete chaos in there. So many uh, amazing, great chefs, clamouring for space. Everything's going to happen tonight, I think. All the other chefs in the kitchen, I like. They're some of the, the chefs I used to look up to and still do when I was a, when I was a kid coming into cooking. Um, so we've got some amazing guys in there. And just to be in the kitchen and cooking with them, I think, is an incredible experience. So I can't wait for it. I'm a bit starstruck actually. There's people like Christian Bau and Bjorn Franson and so um, I feel quite humbled <laughs> by that. So yeah, looking forward to that. I think uh, OED is uh, quite interesting because opposed to other uh, guides, it's more of a listing made by people that actually go to restaurants, pay for their meals and have uh, quite an honest judgment about uh, the food they eat. OED is one of the most prestigious uh, lists in the world that come in today. Uh, some of the most discerning people um, and to be uh, on that list or connected to the list is, is, is very important, very, uh, is, is quite an amazing feat. It's a great feeling and uh, really honoured and pleased to, uh, to have received the, the beautiful uh, award. I'm very happy for my team and uh, because it's a team spirit, it's a team uh, achievement and uh, that's important I think.